Hello and welcome to this Active State screencast on installing Active Python and Matplotlib. Active Python's Business Edition now includes Matplotlib, NumPy, and SciPy, three fundamental Python packages for doing financial and scientific computing with Python. This demonstration will be geared towards absolute beginners, so we'll break down the process to simple, repeatable steps. First, we'll download Active Python, then we'll install Active Python and Matplotlib. Then we'll download and run a simple financial Python program example from the Matplotlib library. Matplotlib is a, a very handy Python 2D plotting library, and it can be used from Python scripts, from the Python and IPython shells, from web application service, servers, and a number of graphical user interface toolkits. Just a few lines of Python code and this powerful library, you can generate plots, histograms, bar charts, and error charts, and scatter plots, and a number of other graphical visualizations of numeric data. So let's download Active Python from the website. This is available at ActivePython slash downloads on the Active State website. We're installing the Active Python Windows installer. It's a typical .msi file and obeys all of the normal Windows rules for installation. It just takes a few seconds to download this. Then we're going to double click on the MSI and run the installation. As you can see, it's verifying that. We're going to install it, accept the license agreement. Install it in the default location. It's 41 megabytes. This includes the Pi package manager, the Pi, Pi PM as we call it, which will help us when we're installing other modules and gets us direct access to um, all the latest builds. All right, now we'll launch the Windows command processor. I've created a shortcut here and type in Pi PM info to make sure that I've installed. Python correctly, and you, know, you can see I've got Python 2.6 installed. And now we'll type in pypm install matplotlib. And it's as simple as that. Matplotlib is up on the server. We go and grab it for you and install that. There are a couple of dependencies, numpy being one of them. We make sure that you take care of all the dependencies in the download here. So it's now downloading those files from our server and putting them onto my hard drive in the right locations. And we've now installed it. So now we're going to go off and we're going to grab an example or sample Python script from the Matplotlib series of examples. And we're going to grab one that has some finance relevance here. A stock ticker one, if I can grab that one correctly here. Finance work two. A simple example of um, pulling up a stock ticker. This is pretty hard-coded basic, but you can see it imports NumPy and Matplotlib, and most of the inf information is just getting some historical information from the Yahoo ticker. So here, we'll save that page to my hard drive. The name of the file is that. I'm going to make sure that I save it as all files here. Add the PY convention here for the Python script. Download it. Clear this. And I'm going to go back to my command line prompt and type in, as simple as it is, Python finance underscore work to dot pi and hit return. And in a second you'll see the stock ticker for this wonderful little Python script. So there you have it. You've now run a wonderful Python financial application, a little example there of grabbing some stock ticker information and historical data on a specific company. And then um, you've now installed Matplotlib, uh, which automatically installed NumPy for you as well. You've checked to make sure you've had the right installation of Python so by doing pypm space info. And you've 
successfully installed Active Python from ActiveState. So there you have it. Now you're ready to go learn a little bit more about Python and you can come back to ActiveState.com. We've got lots of recipes in our cookbook and there's a number of good tutorials on learning Python online. So thanks for taking the time to listen to us today and if you have any questions or would like more information please feel free to give us a call or drop us a line at activestate.com. Thank you.